Ronnie King Coleman is the most dominant force in bodybuilding history. 2003, he walked out onto that stage nearly 300 pounds. Negative body fat percentage, if you believe that one. Nobody can defeat this guy. I have done pitcher comparison after pitcher comparison, and he's defeated them all. Phil Heath, Jay Cutler, uh, Big Ramy, everybody. Dorian Yates. But today... We're going to do an interesting comparison. We're actually going to make it fair for the other bodybuilders. Well, maybe. We're going to pit the 2003 Ronnie King Coleman in all of the mandatory shots against all of the best current competitors. That's right, guys. I did a video not that long ago featuring who I believe out of the current competitors, are the best in each of the mandatory shots. And we're going to pit those guys against Ronnie King Coleman. Not only that, but for a little bit of a bonus, we're actually going to go through the history of bodybuilding and pick the best, bar none, the best out of uh, all the shots. And we're going to pit that guy against Ronnie King Coleman. And hey, if it's Ronnie Coleman himself, well, I guess we'll find that out in this matchup, won't we? But to begin with the front double, a lot of these pitchers, honestly guys, of 2003, they're not giving Ronnie a fair shake. It's tilted thusly, so I'm going to use this one. You can see there's a, another pitcher in the background. It was, it was blurry, but I used it for sizing. But you can see when he's straight on, he's even bigger. So out of the current competitors, I estimated that Brandon Curry... I know this is 2019, but he still competes. 2019, he looked awesome. I estimate that he is probably the best guy to hit this shot. That's debatable. That's debatable. But he does look awesome, guys. Lower half, not even close. And those arms of Ronnie, he has such a, a quality, a muscle separation in those babies that Curry just can't handle. But food for thought. Curry does look good, guys. Nick Walker would be another suspect. But arms are good, but the rest of the physique, not even one time. Not even one time. Michael Crizo, also another suspect. Not even close. Not even close. Actually, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, Andrew Jacked, because of his physique, he holds his own better than anybody else. Because of the structure. I mean, yeah, he's 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 right there with Coleman. Height, but probably a little bit taller. But you can see Coleman's just loaded with muscle. I mean, come on. Jack doesn't stand a chance. Better midsection, though. I'll give you that right now. And the best of all time to hit the shot, Arnold? That's debatable. I think it's a, it's a safe bet. And it's an easy answer of uh, who hit the best front double bicep pose of all time. It's Ronnie King Coleman. So Ronnie defeats all of the competitors today. He defeats the, the greatest of all time in Arnold. He wins. He, he gets the first point. But I guess there's like three points there to give. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Here is the front lat spread. And once again, guys, it is tilted thusly, so gonna pop on one like this and actually he looks like a friggin beast have you ever seen this picture of him hitting the front lat spread i don't think anybody anybody could come come close to this guy and in my estimation andrew jacked is the best guy of today's current competitors of today's roster to hit the front lat spread and i don't want to keep using andrew jacked andrew jacked i actually had uh, brandon curry probably the best in the front double but I mean Andrew Jack's structure. It's the only one that comes close to Coleman. But Coleman is just laden with muscle. So much more ripped and strided than Jack too. So it's a, it's a no-brainer guys. It's a no-brainer. Now, I don't want to start a religious war here between the Dorianites and the Colemanites. For sure, I do not want to start that. But guys, this is a Ronnie Coleman video. And yes, I gotta be kind to Dorian Yates. His lats are better. His symmetry's better. But guys, you gotta be realistic about this situation. He's like 250 pounds. Coleman is close to three bills. 
He's like 40 or 50 pounds heavier, with a similar structure. I mean, come on, who do you think the judges would give it to? So coming out of the two shots, the two front shots, Coleman is looking pretty good versus everybody in the history of bodybuilding. That's insane. But I guess they do call him the king. Now... Is he going to be vulnerable from the side? I always noticed he did not hit this uh, correctly, I guess. I'm sure it's correct, but he just didn't hit the right angles. He was always looking down at his chest. There is this pitcher here that we're going to use because he's opened up a little bit more. You could imagine if he did open up even more, he would have been the best in this shot but well, well let's just see if he is anyway we'll see if he is anyway i would wager to say that this dude here the arnold classic champion 2023 samson dota he has the best side chest it was close at the olympia i probably would wager to say him or curry but he's a little bit better here at the arnold so yeah i think uh i think samson dota he's awesome but compare the quality of muscle. Size of the chest, yes. Silhouette, yes. Samson, probably a match for Coleman. Not more than a match, but a match for Coleman. But that negative body fat percentage, it comes through. You really do see it. Look at, the, look at how hard he is. You could uh, shoot that guy with a BB gun. And the pellet or the BB would just bounce right off him. Pew! Now, the side chest is kind of a... It's a debatable one. It's more of a, your preference. I always liked Art Atwood. He looks like a great big rooster. cock a doo doo Great big rooster chest. Nothing really else uh, is a match for Coleman. I mean, he has good wheels from the side. Hey, hey. Art Atwood was good. He was good. Maybe the biggest uh, chest muscles of all time, but Coleman still gets him in condition. And explore some of the, the best ones of the side chest. Or if you do explore that, I'm sure this guy will pop up. Kevin Navroni. And he is a monster. Is he getting Coleman? I think there would be some people that would give this to Kevin Navroni. But it's not going to be a staggering percentage, I can tell you that much. So if you're considering Coleman as the champion in this matchup, no, no. He's not losing the side chest, and we're not even going to disrespect Arnold by showing this one. Because for his time, Arnold's side chest, yes, it was the best. But wheels, things of that nature, no, he can't compete with Coleman. So, by, by my count, Ronnie King Coleman is 3-0. He's winning, guys. Three poses. Now, the side tricep is his weakest shot. I'll admit... I'll admit, but here in 2003, he is still defeating the likes of Hunter Labrada, who I would consider the best of today's competitors. I know a lot of you guys are lukewarm on Hunter Labrada. He gets some pretty high placings, I will say, and that really, that hurts him as far as the fans are concerned. Nick Walker getting a, a lower place at that same Olympia, I guess maybe got him some more fans. So it's a, it's a tricky business. And speaking of Nick Walker, some of you guys might consider him the best in the side tricep. I think here today, 2023, the side tricep might not be the, the best pose for uh, today's current competitors. Considering Ronnie probably still defeating both of those guys, but he's not defeating Dory Nates. So I apologize to you Colemanites. You Dorianites may rejoice. Ronnie Coleman is getting his first loss in the second half of the side tricep pose. So he's still getting a victory, in my opinion, uh, versus cur the today's current competitors. So he's still 4-0, uh, and all, but he's losing against Dorian, guys. This side tricep, I don't think anybody could touch Dorian in the history of uh, the side tricep. Not even uh, Phil Heath, not even Boo Bunder. This is Dorian Yates' pose, but Coleman will continue on in this competition. And considering Coleman was known for this back, this back may be his strongest asset. I highly doubt anybody in today's uh, on today's roster could touch him. Now, Hattie Shupin, in my estimation, has the best rear lat spread. 
you watch the Olympia, it was crazy how wide this guy is. I mean, he was dwarfing Big Ramy, all of them, all of them in width. And he's not that tall, so it really comes out impressive. Lat insertions, hey, he's doing uh, battle. He's doing battle. But look at the traps. Even the arms of Coleman. I mean, the whole physique, it is the way he hit the pose. He was flexing his traps. Dexter Jackson-like. Dexter Jackson-like. So take your pick. Some people prefer the way Hattie is hitting it. But it's a no-brainer if you're going to do a competition between these two. Look at the lower half. Not even the same species, baby, please. Proper. And then the age-old question. Phil Heath versus Ronnie Coleman. Phil Heath, in my estimation, if you take Ronnie Coleman out of the equation, he does have the best rear lat spread. Dorian was good, but lower half-wise, it's just another ball game altogether. Nobody can touch these two dudes. And realistically, I mean, yeah, uh, conditions probably both the same. I think Phil's back looks a little harder, grainier. But size definitely counts and it's a boy versus a man and ronnie king coleman is the man and like i said before guys if you consider him the champion coming in this matchup i, th I still only count one loss against dorian yates to that side tricep because this back lat spread is king ain't nothing but a peanut yeah buddy ding 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 on to the next back shot and on to the best Back shot of today's competitors, in my estimation, Nick Walker. It's a pretty good rear double bicep, guys. And once again, I believe this is a tilted, thosely pitcher. Takes away from the actual true width of Coleman. There are these ones here. And you could see right away, he is twice as wide in these pitchers. But still, it's not straight onto the back. But you can see the detail the condition, the separation of this guy. He's a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur. Back lat insertions. Uh, Nick Walker's pretty good, guys. He's on shaky ground here. In the wheel department, I mean, the size of Coleman. And if you do want to put this one up, can't really tell condition. It's a bad pitcher. But it shows that sheer width, the sheer size of Coleman. Sheer size. What about Lunsford? Just too small, guys. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a great big redwood versus a little, little just a virgining, blossom, blossoming tree. But anyway, that's your rear double bye versus today's competitors. No one even coming close. What about Dorian Yates? 1993. Rear double bicep. Maybe his best shot. Arguably, I mean, he was so hard, so grainy, and I'm not going to argue if you guys are going to say he was in better condition than Yates, or than uh, Coleman, rather. Lower half? Well, visibly, no, I think Coleman was in better condition. But when it comes to size, when it comes to width, I mean, come on, guys. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Lightweight, yeah, buddy. And Phil Heath also... Arguably, some of the best back shots here in 2011, I think, was his best rear double. I think his rear lat spread was way better in 2017. But ultimately, uh, the rear double was probably better in here in 2011. And still, Coleman, he's just too gosh darn big. So yeah, that's the front. That's the side. And my goodness, that is the back and it's lights out. And the abs and thigh, hey, hey, say what you will. The guy did everything in his power to create a good abs and thigh. A little bit of distension in the midsection. That happens when you're 300 plus pounds off season, cranking the big weights. But the guy, he, even his midsection, the what you would call love handles, even those are striated, for goodness sakes. Now, Andrew Jacked, I used him quite often in this matchup, which goes to show you that he is better than anybody else in several shots, this abs and thigh included. Nobody's touching him. Is he doing enough to defeat the more conditioned, the much more muscled up Ronnie Coleman? 
I would give them the point. I would give uh, Andrew Jack the point. And there are so many abs and thighs guys throughout the history. Who are you going to pick? I personally think that uh, Chris Cormier has one of the finest abs and thighs in the history of the sport. And Flex Wheeler, earlier on in his career, there ain't nothing too much wrong with this shot. Just cartoonish, bubbly round. I mean, feathering in the quad. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll mention Sean Ray. But I mean, at what point are you going to say, okay, well, Coleman's just too, he's got too much muscle. He's got too much muscle. So yeah, a judge might even give this one to Coleman versus Sean Ray. But it's hard to say. In my estimation, Coleman is getting his full, her first full loss here in the abs and thigh. But the guy's so dominant. And if you are keeping score at home, you realize this is your last pose, but it is too late for the rest of the bodybuilding world. Ronnie Coleman, he was dominant. They double, triple, quadruple, five-way teamed on him to try to get a victory against this 0-3 Ronnie Coleman, and it's just not going to happen. This Olympia-winning version of him, he's so dominant, he's defeating everybody. Everybody. Michael Creaso, sorry, man. Don't stand a chance. What about what about Samson? He's a great big giant stud. He's pretty much cleaning house in this shot nowadays. Not even close. And Ronnie wasn't even... I don't even think he was taking this most muscular serious. I think he could have even flexed even harder here. But I figure, he probably figured, well, ain't nothing but a peanut, lightweight baby. What about the greatest of all time to hit this pose? Was it Ronnie Coleman, or was it perhaps Nasser Elson Body? 1996 here, he looked pretty gosh darn good. I think Coleman was probably beating him back in 99, 98-99 in this shot. So Coleman, if you're going to do a best of... Poses, series, Coleman's going to be the best front double, he's going to be the best most muscular, rear double, rear lat, front lat, side chest, the guy, he is, he puts the D in dominance, crab position, no different, no different, Brandon Curry looks pretty awesome, he's more than likely the best guy to hit the crab position, most muscular in today's roster, I mean line them up, He's pretty gosh darn good. And Coleman, the guy's 50 pounds, 60 pounds heavier? Well, maybe 50. I don't know. He's a lot bigger. And he is much harder, much grainier. (laughs) The The guy cannot be defeated. And here is Boo Bunder, Roly the Beast Winkler. He is perhaps the best of all time in this shot. Those delts are unmatched. But you look at the wheels, you look at the rest of the physique, nobody can touch Ronnie King Coleman. I remember Marcus Rule back in the day. He would call for a most muscular with Coleman. And Coleman, eh, again, lightweight baby. There ain't nothing but a peanut. And there ain't no group of bodybuilders that you can scoop together to get a victory over this big stud. Ronnie Coleman... He's winning the front double. He's winning the front lat, side chest, side tricep against today's competitors. Both back shots, so dominant, not even funny. And, of course, the most muscular as well. Kudos to uh, to all those great abs and thigh poses over the years. But, hey, you give up one shot versus the rest of the entire universe? Yeah, I think you're doing pretty gosh darn good. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. That was light. That was light. <laughs> That's right. It was light. It was an easy victory for Coleman. Greatest of all time. I guess, I think this video set it in stone. Well, actually, his, his 0, 03 performance I might have had something to do with it. Hit thumbs up, guys. Hope you really enjoyed this one. I know I did. Have a great day.